When you install Timer Pro Professional, you get three icons in your desktop. You get the Timer Pro icon here. This is the iPad, the Android, and Pocket PC support, the PDA devices, the uh, Video Timer Pro, and the Process Analysis and Line Balancing here. Uh, I'm going to launch the Video Timer Pro here by double clicking on it. And that will open up the program. And uh, from here, what we can do is we can come over here to the file drop down. This is a file drop down, the, the blue with the arrow on it. Can touch that. And here are all our main file options. So we're going to select the video. So we click on select video here. And we support all the common video formats that might come out of the uh, uh, a, a typical camera, an inexpensive camera. I'm going to open up the buff part one, which is one that we, we provide with our uh, installation and it will come up and it will play the video in the screen here. Uh, these are the controls up here at the top left hand corner. You can see they're fairly obvious. So we can start the video, uh, we can stop it, we can start it again, we can pause it, and the difference between pause and a stop is it's going to keep the elapsed time constant and we can continue there. You see it will add to the elapsed time right here. If we stop it and we start again, this goes back to zero, the elapsed time goes back to zero here. So this is allows you to do your timing. So again, if you play it and you pause it and you continue, it will add to the current elapsed time. Other options you have, you can rewind. This will take you back to the start of the previous uh, observation you're making. So you can see it went back to 13.14 here and it starts from there. So again, let's say I let it run for a few seconds and I stop it and I want to re rewind it, it goes back to the 13.14 and I can play from there, it'll start timing again. So this allows you to reset your timing. However, if I go restart again over here, it takes me all the way back to zero, the very beginning of my uh, actual video here. And then you can play it here. Okay, you can also change the speed here. Slow, I can click it slow here and play start and you'll see it's going very slow here. All right, I click on the drop down um, I can put it back to normal, it'll speed up again, or I can go all the way up to fast. This is fast, it'll go, go very, very quickly through here. You can see the clock running extremely quickly here as the guy jumps through the, uh, the various cycles here. Um, and eventually it'll reach the end of the, the video here, we can stop it right there. Okay, and then we can restart it again, it'll take all the way back, and we can put it back to normal and play again here. So you have complete control of the video here. Another useful function here is this FRM here in the drop down here. That represents a frame. So we've got F frame selected. We can move it one frame to the right. You see it moving very slightly there. It's moving forward one frame. Or we can move it back one frame at a time. You can see it going back there. Okay. We can also change it. These then become seconds. So if I wanted to jump through, let's say, two seconds at a time. You can see it it just jumps, that's two seconds at a time each jump is there and again going backwards here. So you can use that to navigate around. The other way you can navigate around, you can drag the little pointer here, right? And you can see it gives you numbers there if I hover it. You see the number hovering right there, 25. That means you're 25 seconds into the video here. We can move through it, put, put the video any way we want just by dragging and dropping it there. That's the basic idea of uh, loading a video and then how to play it using the data collection tools and in navigation panel at the top here.